Hey guys, welcome back. So we are now at the machine shop. We've brought the head in and we're getting it all checked out. One thing to note, hopefully the machine shop will notice it too, is there's a little oil restrictor in there. That's this little thing right here that he just pulled out of that hole. Make sure that they don't lose that and you keep keep an eye on that and it goes back in the same place when it's finished. Um, so something you can do at home, if you have a good straight edge, you can check your cylinder head for warpage. I did a video of this, but mine was so warped that I thought my straight edge wasn't straight. So I didn't bother um, doing it and brought it to the machine shop and had him check it there with his professional straight edge. And it was way, way warped. So he was checking with four thou uh, feeler gauge, which is four thousandths of an inch and using the straight edge across and you can check it in a few different places for warpage and it was way more than that um, warped so it definitely needed to be machined machined if warpage is less than two thousandths of an inch you don't need to resurface the cylinder head if it's anywhere between two thou and eight thou you need to resurface the cylinder head the maximum resurface limit is eight thousandths of an inch so that happens to actually be what we ended up with. We pushed it right to the to the end um, here because with the overheating and stuff like that, it warped quite a bit. So what you do is you put the straight edge across the cylinder head like this and start with maybe four thou and see if you can slide it underneath the straight edge. And if it hits the straight edge and doesn't go under, then go down to three thou and two thou and see what one will slide underneath and that will give you an idea of your warpage. Okay. No, so if no, you're no, able to get like no, seven no, thou no, under no, there, then yeah, it's really warped type thing. Okay. And so check it in all the different secure. places that you see in this diagram here. And he was telling me that just unbolting it, even in a decent head, you'll still get warpage even following the procedure. So they're just, they're pretty bad for that. That's why you follow that procedure, loosening from the outside in, is to prevent the cylinder head from warping. What's cooking? You know who's those guys? Sorry? Who's those? I don't know. I think it's meat. That's okay. They might have to No big deal. So it's basically a big dishwasher. This yeah. thing spins around. And then uh, you'll see. Okay. Throw her on in, we'll clean her up. So they fire it up in the typhoon about 15 minutes or so later. It's uh, cleaned up, ready to go. And then they're going to do another cleaning on it and pressure wash it and clean through all the ports, all the little holes and passageways where the coolant's flowing and oil flowing and stuff like that. They're just going to spray in there and clean out any debris. Okay, then she's going to blow off all the water with air. Okay, now they do a vacuum test on the valves. So they're basically just putting vacuum through the first exhaust and intake ports. And what they can tell is if you don't pull vacuum, the valves are leaking. So if there's a little bit of carbon on them, just gives them a tap, um, just to double check. But these were all pulling really good vacuum. You can see here on the gauge, 
anywhere she said below 0.6 is good and we're we're in the green so we're good we're all the way almost at 0.8 of vacuum so yeah all the valves seem to be sealing well so that's that's perfect Okay, now they're going to do a pressure test on it. So what they're going to do is block all the coolant ports here and with this jig, tighten it all in and it'll all be sealed and then use soapy water and check for any cracks in the head and any leaks in a few different places here. Is that just air then, or is that just water? Just air. Okay. Yeah. And then this oh, then there's soapy water. water bubble check. Gotcha. Common place for cracking is in between your valves oh, okay. and spark plug holes, so you just pay really close attention there. Bolt holes are a good place to check. Hmm. Even a bolt hole, yeah, that'd be a sneaky place. If someone tightens it too much. Sometimes they'll leak actually down in the bolt hole. Wow. But it's, it's not common on aluminum. It's not common? No. Oh. Cats will crack a lot more. Do you uh, replace those when you... No. No, you don't have You'd to? never know. Unless you can see air coming out of there. Right. Drying off the springs again with some compressed air. Well, the test, we it. Nice. Just want to show you guys this machine quick. This is called a honing machine, and it just resurfaces the inside of the cylinders and smoothens smoothens them out from any scratches and stuff like that. So. Yeah, if you need to do a full engine rebuild, most places can do that for you too. So this is the resurfacing machine. So she's got it all set up and she's leveling the head to make sure it's going to run, you know, over it perfectly straight because you don't want a crooked head. And so this machine, it's got a bit on it and it just spins and it cuts the material down from the top of the head. 
So they just start by going a little bit at a time, just a um, few thousands, three thousands at a time. And so she's just going over it the first pass and we're going to see what we end up with here. supposed to or it's just this is what happens. There's nothing really going on there so it stays where it's supposed to be. Right. And cylinders will tend to come down a little bit. So you can see the difference in color here, how on the outside it's already it's cut, but in the middle there, because of the warpage, it hasn't quite um, cut that part yet. So that shows how bad the warpage is even through that first pass. So we're going to do another pass here and we're going to see what the difference is. Yeah, you won't see all these lines after. And awesome. Before we final wash it, we clean all your gasket surfaces. Scotch braid, it's a nicer finish. Okay. But you have to get all the thick stuff off first. Mm -hmm. So, using the Scotch Brite, they're just cleaning up the rest of the head here. And even the top where the valve cover gasket goes, cleaning that all up. So, we'll have a nice seal. When we put a new gasket on, there'll be no oil leaks up there either. Flat. Flat. Okay. Flat. Other than just flat blocking with sandpaper all those gasket surfaces. Some degreaser and then one last wash. WD-40 just gives you a nice little last step. WD-40. Okay. 
All right, this cylinder head is ready to go back into service. We took off eight thousandths of an inch, the maximum amount you are able to machine it to. So we just made it, we, we snuck in just by the skin of our teeth, and we are ready to go back to the garage and start with reassembly and get this car running again. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks for watching guys, that's it for this video. I've got many more to come, so consider subscribing so you can join me in the next video. I'll see you there.